Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Dave Willow. Hello there, we have John Lindusky. Hey. How are you doing, John? Pretty darn good. Alright, so first off, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Yep. Alrighty. With that, we've got a couple things for you. The Everblades, since our last video we did for them. Sorry, folks. We have had a whirlwind of a month of August yeah. as far as our personal lives. So we're sorry that the podcast took a bit of a hit. But we have been doing graphics and stuff like that on um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So that for those of you that do pay close attention to our stuff like that, we have been doing those things. But lately, it's been kind of too slow to be pumping out videos so it's right. really hard at this point um also look for our wallpapers dropping tomorrow at some time yes um so with that being said uh the uh everblades have signed goaltender brandon halverson tell Hal us about him uh halverson's 25 years old six foot four 209 catches left he signed for this year only. He was a second round draft pick in 2014 by the Rangers. Not bad. So, I mean, he he has the talent. The question is, can he go? Alrighty, so with all that going on, like I said with Halverson signing, um, he has previous age, AHL and ECHL experience. His time with Greensville was not very productive for him, nor was his time with the Hartford Wolfpack, no. where he had a losing record his entire time. He then went to the Maine Mariners, where he went 15, 13, and 1, which is much better, plus a sub two, uh, sub 3.0 goals against average, which is much better. Then he went to the Norfolk Admirals and kind of got railroaded, but the Norfolk Admirals at the time didn't really have the greatest roster Right. So it, it kind of left them in a spot of, ugh. Right. And so in this instance, um, it is nice for them to have this. He's not really the greatest goalie, but he's not really the worst goalie. Also add in that the Admirals have four goalies on their uh, training camp yeah, roster. Yeah, pretty stacked of, right now. Training camp roster, including uh, Connor Ingram, uh, uh Vamaka, you have Cooley, and then you have um, somebody we're going to get to in the next video. <laughs> you know? So pay attention to that one, Everblades fans, because you might be seeing him too. Yep. So there's a chance this guy could be going playing in the USHL. He could be playing, you know, in, in uh, what's that, the uh, Southern Professional Hockey League. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance that some of these guys may have to get set down, cut something. Right. There is. You know, so with that, there's that. Um, they also signed Austin Mc... Michael Murray? Michael Murray. Oh, what an interesting name. He's 25 years old out of Coral, Sp Coral Springs, Florida. Ah, local. Uh, he's 5'11", shoots right 185 pounds. He's a winger. Um, last year he played for the Wichita Thunders. 22 games, 6 goals, 4 assists, 10 points by the club. Um, the year before that, he played for the Scarce Heart University, where he played 34 games, 18 goals, 14 assists, 32 points. Right. I think that with Wichita playing very minimal, him playing very minimal games, didn't have a lot of time, didn't have a lot of time for pro experience, the Everblades will be a good chance for him. Right. Alrighty, on to the next one. Cody McDonald. Another McDonald, huh? All right, so he's 23 years old, six foot one, uh, shoots right-handed, 192 pounds. He is also a forward. Um, last year he played for, uh, well, the last year he played was in 2019, 2020, for the Youth Sports League, and he had 24 games, five goals, uh, seven assists, 12 points, and 74 penalty minutes. Woo! Wow. No plus minus because they don't have that particular stat in the um, 
in, in uh, the uh, Canadian colleges. Right. So uh, there's that for him. He did play four games in the playoffs, had one goal, two assists, three points, and four or penalty minutes. All righty. So there's that. Um, then we have Alex Alardi. Uh, former uh, prospect of the Hurricanes, he went undrafted, but he was signed by them a few times. He has previous experience with the Everblades back in 2014, 2015, where he played 16 games, eight goals, nine ass or eight goals, 11 assists, 19 points in the plus seven. He also played in eight playoff games, having one goal, five assists, six points in the plus three. Yep. Then he went overseas, kind of bounced around for one, two, three, four, six seasons, it looks like. Six seasons, um, and now he's back. I'm wondering if it's because of the travel restrictions, but who knows. Um, his most successful season was in 2019-2020, where they played 40 games, or he played 40 games, 26 goals, 37 assists, 63 points, with a plus 31. Right. So whatever he did overseas is getting him a lot better. Yeah, it is. So, um, he is product of the uh, Windsor Spitfires and the Plymouth Whalers. So, uh, the OHL is where he's from. Uh, he played junior hockey, actually, on the same style team out of Detroit that Rafa Grimaldi was on. Yeah. So, odd, uh, odd little weird fact there. Yep. Um... So that's all we really got for you today. Yeah. Um, we're really hoping that we can enjoy some of it and uh, and, and have some fun going forward. But this this has been kind of slow for us, so we're giving you bulk so we can give you all the info that uh, is necessary at the current moment. Um, also, we right, got to things have been different this off season with the pandemic. We're just gonna say it. it it's it's it hasn't been something we've seen before. Exactly. Also, we're having a shorter off season than we're used to. So we're used to have I well me in particular. I'm used. Yeah. I'm used <laughs> to having, you know, a month gap where like free agency starts in July. Right. It's dead by August. September hits and it's preseason and we're good to go. It's not like that now. Right. It no, was. It isn't. Draft in July, free agency in August, boom, 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 September, <laughs> my head was ready to just go. And so I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a heads up. I can't wait till we get back to normal. Yeah. It is really grinding my gears, as they would say. Yeah. Because I'm getting pushed and pushed, you know, for content. And if we did We're a trying. If we did a video every time we signed somebody... Y'all would have a five-minute video with no con a, a basic boring content. Yeah. Here, we're able to give you mass quality and do it in under 10 minutes. So imagine I just rattle off four players in under 10 minutes, and I do we do one player, and it's going to take two minutes. Right. There's no point in wasting your guys' time to watch us talk about some guy for two minutes. Right. You know, not to take away from the player. No, not at all. We're just saying that to take the time to get everything for us set up, we just do the graphics and then we do it in bulk so that you guys can learn about the players. We want to give you the best show possible and the best content possible. Speaking of best content possible, starting, I believe, in either next week or the week after, depending how things flow. So, like we're saying, we said earlier in this video, It'll either be this week or next week. Whenever we're done with the Preds, we're going to go to the Everblades. Yeah. After the Everblades, we're going to go to the Admirals. Because the Admirals 